Upon my back in 2019, I decided to sign up for a degree in digital imaging and photography with Hubert. I completed the degree and shortly after I started it, I also went across to a place called The Secret Warehouse in Kirkdale, where I opened my studio and since then, we've taken thousands and thousands of photographs and headshots, uh, won over 15 awards and there's at least 100 plus five-star reviews on Google. Uh, this marks another milestone for us this year as I'm about to complete my master's degree in marketing and digital communications. With every individual who books with me, be it an actor, an entertainer, or someone who's working for business, I take the time to understand the purpose of the photograph, the reason they want the pictures and what they plan to use them for. And together, we sort of work together to align what pictures we take with their vision. A common theme across all of these is creating an environment where the client feels relaxed, confident, and unpressured, and everybody is coached throughout every step of the process. I'm aware that some studios work with all kinds of interesting pricing models. There's lots of photographers out there. Um, some offer crazy pricing or lots of photos or weird and wonderful deals. And when you get there and you choose your pictures, you find that you're then having to pay extra money for pictures that you weren't aware that weren't included. I don't do any of that. So for us, it's um, you book online, you pay a, a booking fee, which comes off your total all of our packages and how much per extra image is available on the website before you book if you choose to book with us um, once you've had your shoot within usually about 24 hours your pictures go into a private online gallery you log in from home no pressure from me um, once you've logged in you choose the pictures you want you send me a message once you've sent me the message what then happens is is we send you an invoice for your balance once that's paid usually within about 48 hours give or take sometimes a little bit quicker you get your pictures delivered to you via online transfer, uh, color black and white, large, medium and small and square versions, all for you ready to do whatever you need to do based on the conversations we've had previously. We make sure that all the pricing of the packages is online and transparent so you know what's involved price-wise before you sign up. There's nothing worse than turning up for a photo shoot for, for a £25 photo shoot that you've got a voucher for in a shopping centre <clears throat> you've had the photo shoot, you turn up and then you find out that they want to charge you the best part of six, seven hundred pounds to take away the pictures that you've been told they're going to destroy, delete or get rid of if you don't buy them. Don't agree with that. Um, don't agree with that at all. Um, when it comes to choosing your pictures, what, offered, uh, what advice do we offer? Well, um, I, can give off, I can give you advice if that's what you're after. Um, but it's important to remember that photography is not like mathematics. And when I was in Hugh Baird, one of the tutors said this. There is no right and wrong answer with photography. It's all down to personal perception. So you might want a picture for acting and you need to show various elements of your range. Or you might be applying for a job or a promotion at work and you need to show your professionalism and that you are living the life of the role that you're applying for. Um, they're all different and we need to understand that and we'll go through those with everyone that we work with. Um, but by understanding what the pictures are for before we even take the first photo... Um, it means that we're, we go in the right direction and you don't just end up with some nice portraits that don't have a purpose. I understand that choosing as well a photographer can be a little bit of a minefield because everyone's after your attention. So some compete on price, some offer different products and some may just stand there and critique the work of other people and hopefully you'll go to them because they're the critic. Um, so let me give you some advice, three pieces of advice that I think would be useful if you're looking to work with a photographer. So the first one is look for somebody whose style you like, whose pictures you like, and that the style of those pictures appears on several different platforms, whether it's a website, whether it's Instagram, whether it's Facebook, that the work is out there and it isn't a series of one-off lucky strike images that they can't repeat. Secondly, read reviews. So people use their own language and their own words when they write a review. We all have the same hang-ups when it comes to confidence about getting your photo taken. We all feel uncomfortable. We all feel very vulnerable. And when we go through an experience like that and we come out the other side smiling, confident and happy with the images we've got, um, we, we share that. Um, and that's what people do with reviews. So whoever you're choosing to look for, look at the reviews and read them to see how people felt the experience was because as I said before if a picture is good or bad that's a personal choice um, we all have an opinion but when it comes to an experience you're sharing how they made you feel and that's the important bit you need to understand 
Finally, um, verify the professionalism of your photographer. Do they have their own studio and website? Are they members of any professional bodies? Do they work with other professionals in the industry? Because these sorts of things for you can then give you an indication of their commitment to the craft. I know personally, I, I have a studio, I have a website, I'm registered with trade bodies, I work with other photographers and have a network of makeup artists, videographers, etc. that I work with for both commercial and private work. Um, but you just need to make sure that um, it's some of the some of the best photographers may not have a studio, and that's fine. Some of them may not have a website, and that's fine. But you need to know that somebody who is committed to their business, it is more important for them to ensure that their clients are satisfied, that they're happy, and they've got images that work for them. If their reputation of their business relies on that, and the future business relies on that. Um, and apart from that, that's it. Um, I'm going to put a video on for you, which is some examples of my recent work. If you are looking to upgrade your pictures, your headshots, portraits, weddings, events, anything like that, get in touch. Um, LeonBritain.com. Everything's on there from how to guides, prices, um, examples of recent work, links to my social media, uh, the, the bodies that I'm represented by, and also my previous clients. Um, and if you've got any questions, please get in touch. You can WhatsApp me, you can message through the website, or you can message through social media. And um, today, I'm, well, I'm currently sat in my office doing some editing. Um, later on today, I'm doing a headshot session. But here's some examples of the work, and I look forward to hopefully working with you in the future. Thank you.